Hi guys, this is Adam and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can create database diagram from existing database. Go to File, New Project and this is Visual Studio 2013 but the principle will be the same or very similar in 2010, 2012 and possibly versions before. We're going to create ASP.NET Web Application let's call it a DB diagram test okay MVC we don't care about Azure at the moment okay inside the app data folder this is the place where our database will exist for now and in server explorer this is going to be the connection string that points to this database uh, at the moment it's empty so we are going to run the application and just try to log in type some dummy password doesn't really matter all we have to do what's happening at the moment is that application is trying to find if the database exists if it doesn't it will create a new database and if we go back to application stop it from running click this button show all files and and as you can see we have a database inside the server explorer this is the default connection that has been established and tables that's the default tables uh, that Microsoft uses for authentication so we want to view the database diagram from those tables and the reason why I decided to do it this way is that this is the simplest and quickest way of just creating a database with a couple of tables. Go back to Solution Explorer and inside the models we're going to create a new folder and let's call it DB Diagram. Now inside this folder we want to create something called Link to SQL. Let's call it Diagram. Now we're going to open Server Explorer and if you drag the table you're going to see how the table looks on the screen with all the relationships regarding different tables. So click the first one, hold shift, click the last one so we select all of them and just simply drag and drop them. Yes, we want to create a new one. We don't want to override it. And there you go. As you can see, migration history table, which holds all the information regarding database changes, um, is over here. So when you're using the code first approach and you're trying to create a database based on your model, and you try to, let's say, change the model, add a new field, and you're going to add a new mi migration, all the information will be stored in this database. So as you can see, all the relationship between those tables you can very clearly see from this diagram. Now, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen here and want to see more, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.